That is the incomparable Lizzo, who took to Instagram on Friday to host a virtual mass meditation. About a half million people tuned in. Uh, the goal was to help people ease their coronavirus anxiety. Here she's playing a rendition of her song, Because I Love You. And as I said, 500,000 people plus tuned in. And Lizzo, if you're watching, great job. We'd love to have you on the show. And speaking of easing people's fears, in this incredibly stressful moment, it is time now uh, for week two of our month of mindfulness. This week, practical tips for managing your anxiety in the midst of a global health crisis. Take a look. This is your coronavirus update. How worried should we be? It's near us now, so we need to worry about it. At a time when we're all being inundated with scary news about the coronavirus, it is hard not to be anxious. Ellen Siebert Medijid is a mom from Garden City, New York. So where's your head at right now vis-a-vis uh, -vis the, the virus? Uh, a little anxiety, um, mostly in the unknown. It's just all the question marks, you know, that kind of, it's a little anxiety producing for me. So how to deal with this anxiety? That was the focus of a recent episode of my podcast, 10% Happier, in which we spoke to an anxiety expert from Harvard and a prominent meditation teacher. I think the first thing we all need to remember is that anxiety is appropriate right now. It's a real threat. Anything that could allow you to sort of calm your brain down, it's something that we should be doing right now. Going for a jog, going for a walk, calling somebody that you know you trust. There's a tendency to really try to run away from difficult feelings. It is a matter of finding the balance. We want to not be binging on terrifying articles, but we do want to be aware of the severity of this issue and our moral responsibility to those who are less resilient. Here are some practical tips for reducing your anxiety. Get enough sleep. Move your body, even if it's just taking a walk. If you're feeling isolated, call a friend. Stay informed, but don't obsess. And finally, meditation has been shown to help. Ellen says she meditates every day. It always centers me and brings me back to the here and now. You know, I'm not projecting. I'm not wondering what if. In our natural default mode, we're spinning off into future projections or we're ruminating about something that happened a while ago. But with meditation and yoga, it actually knocks you into right now. Into right now exactly where I am, what I'm doing, you know, whatever is going to be is going to be. I don't have control over it. Okay, guys, so we know there's a lot of scientific evidence suggesting that meditation is really good for lots of things, including anxiety. But we also know that a lot of people aren't going to meditate. So I'm going to teach you two super quick practical tricks okay. to, bring, to make things that we all have to do meditation. So number one, we all have to wash our hands. You're supposed to do it for 20 seconds. How would you like to spend those 20 seconds? Obsessing about whether you're gonna get the virus or can you use it to meditate? So let me give you one way to do this. There are these, and I'll be honest, the first time I heard this technique, I was a little skeptical because it's a little bit cheesy, but there are these ancient phrases that you can repeat in your head, and there's a lot of scientific evidence to suggest that these phrases have a lot of benefit on the brain and the body. So you can repeat as you're washing your hands, may we all be happy. May, may we, we all be happy. May we all be safe. May, we all be, may safe. we all be healthy. May we all live with ease. And if you do that twice, maybe three times, that'll get you to 20 seconds. And what it does is it, as our anxiety expert says, it kind of presses control, alt, delete for yeah. your brain, pops you out of your rumination, gets you thinking about helping other people, which is what is called for in this time. Very okay, boring. second exercise is uh, we're all told don't touch your face. That's impossible. <laughs> if so I tell hard. you right now, don't picture an elephant, you're going to start picturing an elephant. So it's like really frustrating. So is there a way to turn this into a meditation exercise? Yes. Next time you feel the powerful urge to touch your face because you have a, I know. We, you, you have like a like I've homicidal itch, itch right on your nose, you can just let the feeling come and go. Let the feeling come and go. And that is another way to kind of switch out of thinking and into feeling. Uh, so those are your two tips. And by the way, if you want to know more, check out the special edition of the 10% Happier podcast, all about handling anxiety in this time, featuring, as we said, an expert on anxiety and a meditation teacher. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.